So in today's video, I'm going to talk about a project that really caught my attention for three reasons. Number one is that it is in the game by sector. It's a game that's coming up. It's got its game launch coming up this year. Number two is that it's still quite small. If you take a look at the market cap, it is only at 19.1 million. It's trading at 5.8%. It's made a run this week and starting to catch people's attention. So it caught on to my attention. And then number three, it's actually a very, very fair project. I think that is built very good. The graphics are amazing. They're launching on the Steam store. So if you take a look at the Steam store right over here, Bad Matt Robots is coming to the Steam store. Now before I go on, remember that none of this is investment advice. The crypto market is extremely volatile. It's risky. Nine out of 10 people lose their money. So make sure you do your own due diligence and research before you get into any project. And if I just quickly check out uh, their gameplay, you can see right away, this is a really energetic game. Very good graphics. It looks amazing and fun to play. And I think that gamers are going to want to play this game right over here. It's built on Unreal Engine 5, so the graphics are amazing. And like I said, it's coming to the Steam store, so people are signing up and they're taking notice of this game. So before we break down this project, let's just take a look at the chart and appreciate it for a second. This past week, they've made a huge run. The highest that they got to was 7.2 cents. And then it started to consolidate between 5 and 6 cents, and that's exactly where they are right now, roughly at 5.8 cents. Remember we talked about this being a very tiny market cap? They have about 12%, 13% in circulation. Right now, there's about 338 million metal tokens. So that's the token is metal of the 2.7 billion. We're going to analyze analyze the tokenomics, taking a look at the project closely, and then reviewing everything about this project that you need to know. Going back to this post by Immutable X back in January, I actually missed this where they talked about bad mad robots. They talked about how they were building on Immutable and then powered by Polygon. They talked about how it's going to be a triple A game and it's going to launch built on, so it's a competitive first person shooter game that's built on Unreal Engine 5 like we talked about and aiming for a public beta launch in Q2 of 2024. Right over here, they talk about sort of the backings. They're coming to Immutable with the backing of the best in the industry. You can see right over here, Animoca Brands, you know, Merit Circle that's building on the AVEX subnet with a bunch of their own games. Uh, you know, Yield Guild, one of the biggest uh, uh, gaming guilds in Web3 right over here, Moonrock Capital. Okay, so you got a lot of people. And then they also talked about Bad Mad Robots you know, their founders, this is not their first time, their first rodeo, where they've already built projects with over 300,000 users generating $30 million uh, in monthly revenue. So this game right over here, and looking back at this post, I could see it got over a million views. So definitely they're starting to catch attention as we are starting to move our way through the bull market and getting closer to their launch. And if we just take a look at their partners and investors, you can see some major names which we talked about. Animoca Brands, Merit Circle right on here, you know, Gate.io that launched them, Binance NFT, the Binance Smart Chain, you know, a bunch of people, Polygon, of course, they're building on Polygon, but you can see that they had some pretty big backing behind this project. And then jumping right over here onto their tokenomics, these were the original tokenomics. They did modify it a little, we're gonna talk about that. But if you check out the original tokenomics, right here is 2.7 billion tokens, that's a total supply. That's all the tokens that there'll be in this project. And if you check out here, they, they basically break it down. Rewards into NFT, 13.5 million, okay? Marketing allocation, 75 million right over here. Team allocation, you know, 355 million right over here. Uh, that's roughly 13%, 12, 13% if you wanna compare it. Most other teams, they'll break it down from 15 to 20%, so I feel that that's fair for the team. Liquidity providing, right over here. Right away, those are available, that, that's the 60 million token. The private round at 205 million. Um, and then public round right over here at 25 million. So that's that's extremely small, okay? Um, and then right over here, the in-game liquidity, 1.9 billion, okay? This was the part that they changed. They've actually updated over 2 billion tokens to hold it within the in-game ecosystem, which I think is the right thing to align us with sort of, you know, future game players, future rewards, and then future investors within the game as well. So that's their total. And then their IDO, like we talked about, was just at one cent. I know 
all of us wish we have gotten into that IDO. But right now, it's actually not far from that IDO price. And if you could see right over here in terms of the unlocking, what I care about most whenever I look at these tokenomics is the team. Okay, so notice that the team has 0% that's unlocked at the token generation event. They had a 12 month cliff and they are vested over four years. So right now, their tokens have been unlocking. Remember the past two years, likely the team's token has been unlocking. I'm sure that some sales have to happen, but they're vested over four years. The private round allocation right over here, very similar, only 1% was available on, on token generation events so that people don't, don't dump on this project. And then they have a clip of four months after the IDO unlocking 12 months in equal parts of 8.25%. So I'm sure this private round probably got unlocked by now if it's only 12 months after it, okay? Now, in terms of public round allocation right over here, notice 10% at TG and then after that every six months, okay? 15% every six months. So to me, these tokens look reasonable. And if you just want to check out the percentage, you can see the team got 13%, private allocation was seven. Okay, marketing is, is 2.7, liquidity providing 2.2%, and then advisors only got 1%, the public allocation, and then in terms of the rewards for NFT buyers right over here. Like I said, I think that those are very reasonable tokenomics, but they actually went and they updated their tokenomics right here. And I like what the team is doing because they're actually thinking about the future value of the game. They don't want the game to be derailed because the tokenomics are crap and people are being dumped on all the time with this inflationary pressure. So if you take a look right over here on January 23rd, okay, the updated tokenomics. So they, they talk about important updates right over here. They reassured everyone not to worry because they think that this change is going to benefit everybody you know from the early adopters the players to the newcomers they believe that this shift in their tokenomics will help everybody okay so going along so what are the shifts the shift is that the metal token which is the token of this game right plays a significant role in the gaming economy what they wanted to do was working um, they're gonna work on an updated white paper with all the details on roadmap and they're gonna present it soon to us but the major things are here so the amount of unlocked token to date hasn't changed and remains as it should okay so all the unlocked tokens nothing changed the 1.2 billion metal token 43% was taken out of future inflation and locked in the Treasury so they're actually locking it in the Treasury a portion of that is going to be redistributed for future airdrops and marketing activities. The other portion was redistributed to the liquidity pools to maintain the health of the token. The team's allocation, they did not allocate anything to themselves. It remains unchanged. And remember, they've been unlocking throughout the bear market up to now. Okay, so you, you can take a look here. This is the new tokenomics. I'm just going to come in and take a look right over here, right? These are the allocation. It remains unlocked right over here. This is the airdrop right over here. The marketing, the 275 million, the team hasn't changed at all. And the rest of this is pretty much the same. They talk about the same schedule. So for those of you who are new to this project, I started researching and I didn't know, but they've actually been working on this project since 2021. So it's been about three years already that they've been working on this project. If you take a look here, you should go through some of the old articles. And just so that you know, they actually rebranded this project, okay? They rebranded it to Bad Mad Robots. The original name was actually Drunk Robots, but of course they ran into issues. They talk about it in this article, and that was the reason for rebranding this project. And if we just hop onto their Twitter, there's a wealth of information on here. Number one is that they haven't blown up. You could see they only have roughly 58, 59,000 followers. And if you go down right over here, it says apply for play test net. So they're actually testing it out right now. And you can see they're quite active. The recent news in the last 12 hours that kind of caught the market's attention was that they have new partnerships. They have a partnership coming up with WeMix Network, which is a gaming network in Korea. And as you know, the Koreans are crazy about their games. Whether that's web 2 or web 3 or crypto the Koreans are crazy not as crazy as Do Kwan from Luna was but they're pretty hyped up about their games okay so I think that this is a very positive thing that's coming so they're gonna present that and you can see they're actually getting good engagement and then they were showing this off at eSport Paris okay so right over here you can see they're showing this off their games um, and they're getting people to come out to these events. So the game right now is, it looks like a great working product. And I do expect that once it launches on Steam, it's going to get a lot of eyes and a lot of players on this game. 
So what am I looking to do with this game and project right over here? So if you've been following my channel, you know I'm very transparent. I'll always disclose if I have a sponsorship or not. I'm not sponsored by this game. I haven't even talked to the team. It's just research that I've been doing by myself. Yes, I am looking to grab a bag in this game. In terms of my entry level, and in sort of how I'm approaching this game. Right now it's trading at 5.7. I feel that that's a reasonable point. So I will likely start to DCA into this game because the market cap is extremely small. So right now I think it's consolidating very nice right around here around five, six cents. Um, I feel comfortable with that in terms of starting to DCA into the project. I'm gonna be watching the project closely because the game launch is coming up. It's gonna be in Q2 or Q3 of this year. So they're actually launching the game. And the other thing that I really like about this project is that they are targeting esports okay that's going to be their main angle and their main approach they're targeting web 2 gamers so they're not coming out and saying oh look we have this token this token is available for you to buy nfts for you to buy skins and for you to do you know in-game trading what they're actually doing is targeting the web 2 gamers and they're coming out um, with the option of web 3 embracing web 3 and the new technology allowing ownership into the game so for me personally, I feel that this is a comfortable range for myself to start DCAing in. Not investment advice, I do think that there is a lot of room for this game to move up because it's got such a tiny market cap. It'll probably do a three to five X, get to that 80, $100 million once the bull run starts. But of course, once we go max bull, because it's got such a smaller cap, it's potential to do a much, much bigger run during this upcoming bull run. So check out this game. I thought that it was a really cool project to bring up. Still very small market cap and really unknown, although it's gaining traction. Okay guys, that wraps it up for this video. I hope that you liked the content and you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. I'll continue to bring you more alpha like this. I will see you next time.